Okay, question number 22 in the book of questions. If you could legally pay whatever income tax you wanted, what fraction of your earnings would you give the government? If you knew that everyone would have to pay the exact same fraction of their incomes, would you choose any differently? This is a good question. Uh, if I could legally pay whatever income tax I wanted, well, the easy pat answer would be, would be to say zero, but that's not what my choice would be. Uh, the reason for that is, uh, is that there is some level of service that the central government provides that is beneficial to me and that would be difficult to orchestrate on, in, in, in any other way. There's a certain level of central control and management of, of certain things that makes sense. And, and I would be deriving some benefit for that money that I put in. So uh, I would, I think, be okay with 10%, a nice round number. Uh, maybe as high as 15%, but definitely no more than that. Now, if I knew everyone would have to pay the exact same fraction of their incomes, uh, I would definitely settle on a slightly lower number because I would then know that the rich people would have to pay uh, that same fraction and uh, their larger contribution would offset uh, any gain from having a higher fraction. And also I think a, a a, a, a fraction on the lower side is probably a better result overall for the economy and it would uh, definitely uh, mean that the governments had to be a little more frugal with the money they spend. Um, now, uh, realistically, uh, the percentage would depend on real revenues and the real cost and uh, what services are being provided by the government. So I might be willing to go uh, higher if, if there's more beneficial services being provided. So uh, for bare bones infrastructure, so transportation, uh, you know, sewage, water, you know, that type of thing, you know, the infrastructure provision, uh, trash, all of that stuff, uh, certainly about 10% or so. Uh, education is definitely worth it, uh, so I think I probably, because uh, I benefit from people being educated even if I don't have kids to educate, so I'd probably be willing to uh, up it a bit for that. And, uh, you know, universal health care that's properly managed, yeah, I, I, that's worth, worth some amount as well. Uh, so, you know, I think I'd be willing maybe uh, to go as high as 20% but I would not be willing to go much higher than that at all because I think there's way too much that governments are doing uh, or getting their hands in and I don't think it's reasonable that governments should be spending money on subsidizing industries or anything like that uh, which is where a lot of uh, the tax dollars go and also so much tax money goes to servicing debt, debt servicing, that uh, while uh, I think currently the take in Canada is about 35 percent, 35 to 40 percent uh, across federal and provincial, uh, not counting the municipal taxes on property uh, and you know sales taxes and so on, uh, I think it's so high because the cost of servicing government debt is so high because governments have been borrowing money like there's no tomorrow and no yesterday and the cost of servicing the government debt is actually a substantial fraction of the taxes collected so uh, if the government debt were retired and not uh, not uh, uh, accumulated more uh, then the debt servicing costs would go down and that would mean less taxes would be required and I am not okay with contributing taxes just for debt servicing so 
Uh, I think 20% would be the upper end I th of what is reasonable for an income tax. Uh, I think taxing it any more is unnecessary, especially if this is a proper flat tax and there are no tax shelters anywhere. Uh, the only exception I would make to that is uh, someone who, who is uh, working in one country and is a citizen of another or something like that, uh, where they don't get dual taxed because that's unfair. Uh, but other than that, you know, 20%, I think, absolute outside, and that's got to be good level of service provided to the, uh, to the citizens. And I think if we were to eliminate all the tax loopholes, all of the tax shelters, all of that stuff, the, and other than a minimum cutoff where you don't pay tax below that, I think it would be, it, it would probably make a big difference in the overall uh, tax revenues because the, imp the implementation of the tax code would be cheaper and the rich people wouldn't be able to do tax shelters. So. Uh, you know, I'm not saying the rich don't pay uh, pay a, a, d a decent share, but I don't think they should be allowed tax shelters. I don't think anyone should. So let's make it fair, right? Uh, now this one has a follow-up. Uh, and it is, what fraction of what you currently own would you give to the government if you knew that everyone else would have to give the same? nothing uh, that is just up and up theft uh, and I don't th I don't see how it's beneficial uh, the stuff that the actual stuff that I currently have and that includes money uh, the stuff that I've already obtained and technically paid and already paid income tax on uh, the value of uh, you know so the stuff I have is all accumulated from after-tax money. So I've already paid the taxes. Uh, so if uh, the government came and said, you have to give us some percentage of everything you own, I'd say no. Uh, and it's definitely not, not reasonable in my opinion. Uh, if everybody had to give the same, well, that's you know that that's the no harm no no foul thing, right? You know, everyone loses the same amount, so everything's good. But no, I I still don't think it's reasonable uh, to have to the government to come and take my stuff. Uh, I already paid taxes on the money used to obtain the stuff. Uh, so why why would I be okay with the government taking this stuff? They've already got their cut, right? Uh, and, and that I think is is the difference, right? And of course, the reason for that follow up is uh, what is the difference between taking it, taking my stuff, or taking it in income tax? And you know, the uh, the difference is that the uh, the income tax happens at the start. And it's uh, theoretically, if it's if it's uh, done nicely, uh, it's money that you never actually have. You know, the paycheck deductions are actually a, a pretty reasonable way to handle income taxes. It makes it a lot easier for the individuals. But uh, it, you know, in a case where you're paying your income tax after the time period has expired, so you've collected all your money and now you've got to pay your income tax. It'll feel like the government taking your stuff at that point. But it's not quite the same thing. Uh, if you've already paid income tax, if you're already paying income tax, you know, and also, uh, if I've been paying in income tax year after year, and uh, pretty much everywhere I would be, uh, then uh, the government coming to take my stuff, they're taking stuff that I purchased with previous year's income as well. So no, I, I don't think it's it's at all reasonable, and uh, you know a, a case could be made that if there's no income tax, then something like that might be reasonable. But uh, or to allow stuff in lieu of taxes or something like that. But 
uh, you know, I, I'm not behind giving stuff to the government. Uh, income taxes I can understand, and it's and it makes more sense. But the government coming and taking my stuff, no, uh, that's just not reasonable. Uh, and besides, uh, I have that stuff for a reason, right? That's either because I need it or because I wanted it, and I got it from the uh, productive economy. So. Uh, my question would really be, what's the government going to do with my stuff? And, uh, you know, really, uh, taxing the, the, the hoard uh, versus taxing the additions to the hoard, uh, between the two, I think taxing the additions is better. Uh, now, this uh, actually... Uh, is similar to inheritance taxes and, and, and that sort of thing. And uh, quite frankly, inheritance taxes are up and up theft and uh, you know shouldn't be allowed anywhere. They were used as literally a means to steal the wealth from the aristocracy. Uh, and the uh, later the uh, the rich merchants so that you couldn't uh, so that they couldn't accumulate a bunch of wealth and then their family never had to do a lick of work again for 10 generations because the horde paid for their, their lives. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not for taxing stuff or taking stuff. Uh, income tax, I think, is a necessary evil. And money can be used for anything that it needs to be spent on. Whereas taking stuff is problematic, right? So anyway, that, that's, that's it. So if I could pay whatever income tax I wanted, I really think around the 10% would be the range that I'd be okay with. Uh, but if it had, but if I knew everybody was gonna pay the same, I might be willing to get up to the 20% range. Uh, that sounds like I'm being unfair, right? But remember, in the case of everybody paying it, I'm paying it too. So it's a case of I don't want to be the only guy overpaying, right? So if, if it's just me making the choice for me personally, then you know, I wouldn't actually say zero. Uh, that, I think, is maybe the surprising answer. Uh, but 10% or so, I think, would be uh, a reasonable amount. Uh, I'm and if I knew everybody had to pay the same amount, yeah, 20%, yeah, it seems a bit reasonable. Uh, but as far as taking everything, I, some fraction of everything I currently own, no. I, I have, I, I'm, not, I'm not playing that game. Uh, if guys come with guns and take my stuff, then that's outright theft, and that's a different thing. But I'm not going to uh, voluntarily select a fraction to give to the government. No. Period. Uh, end of story. And it doesn't matter if everybody else would have to as well. It's still not reasonable. But anyway, that's really all there is here. So I guess I'll leave off with the usual like, comment, subscribe business. Uh, check out uh, Patreon if you want to contribute to the channel. Patreon.com slash Lost Wizard. And uh, of course, if you've watched this far, thanks for watching.